what's going on today guys it is Sam here and today we are back on Mango MC but I wanted to talk to you guys about sensitivity and everyone's always asking me like what keyboard do you have what mouse do you have what, what's your sensitivity in game um, and I always get asked what specs I have I'm using a Logitech G403 mouse and a uh, Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard that's like four years old. Uh, Nick, Nick, we need to get a new keyboard soon, I think. So if you guys wanna, we, we should open a PO box and ask if anybody should send us their old keyboard so we can do reviews on them. Except that's too much work, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about sensitivity and kind of DPI and stuff like that, and what kind of sensitivity you should be playing on um, to improve your play. Uh, to be honest with you, a lot of people that I know, especially X hockey you guys know Parker, okay? Parker is a Dumbo, chat. I'm gonna tell you why Parker's a Dumbo. Parker plays on like 1800 DPI and like 100 sensitivity, which is like five times my sense. And the reason why you don't want to play on a sense that high is because it's really hard to aim. Now he manages in Minecraft, but he'd be a much better player if he actually lowered his sensitivity a little bit. And I'm not saying he's a bad player, obviously. It's my boy Parker. I love Parker. I love playing with Parker. But he would definitely be better, in my opinion, if he lowered his sensitivity a little bit and was able to develop more muscle memory. If their sensitivity is too high, and it's say, for me, okay? So here's one end of my desk. Here's a full, I can do about a full 720 when I go across my whole desk, okay? At least that, that's in Minecraft, okay? Um, the reason why I can do about that full 720 is because I need to be able to turn around quickly, but not sacrifice tracking, right? The best sensitivities are where you can actually turn your mouse quickly, slash sell all. Like I was saying, the best sensitivities are where you can turn well, but still track well, when you don't sacrifice your ability to turn for your ability to track. Like that lower sense is what a lot of the best gamers play on. They all play play on sensitivities around what mine is. Like, you know, Dante, for example, who's now playing for the San Francisco Shock and Pro Overwatch. Um, pretty much any pro player generally plays on the lower side of the sensitivity scale because the higher of a sense you play on, the, the harder you make it on yourself to aim. And there's really no reason to make it hard on yourself to aim. Like, it, it really does not make any sense to make it difficult to aim. Um, I play, I, I like 1200 DP because it's easy to move my mouse around my desktop I don't have to drag my mouse across my desk every time I want to just browse my desktop and then I just play on lower in-game senses like in Minecraft my sensitivity is 35 I believe um, I, I like doing that because it's just I, I don't know I'm lazy when it comes to moving around my desktop and it's just so much easier to uh, to just to browse your desktop than have a low DPI and then have a higher in-game sense like I just don't think that's very much fun like I'd rather just lower my game sense and be able to maneuver my depth PC quickly but I'd uh, be sure to comment below what sensitivities you guys play on so you get a feel for what's high and what's low from your all's perspective like in my opinion the around some of the best sensitivities to play on for Minecraft at least for Minecraft PvP is about 1200 DPI and 35 cents and you guys can uh you guys can not 35 C E N T S like S-E-N-S, -S, alright? We're talking about sensitivity, not, you know, money, LOL, but just comment down below and exchange sensitivities. Try some things out. It's gonna be weird at first if you guys play on really, really high sensitivity to get used to, but once you get used to it in about a week's time, you'll notice that your your play is actually gonna improve a lot, and you just feel so much smoother in game. Just, it just feels good, man. So I really recommend that you guys do that. It's, it's, a, it's a big mistake if you're not playing on a low sensitivity. And I think there were a few instances of people saying like higher DPI might be better for detection or something. I don't know if it's true or not, so you guys are gonna have to look that up. But one thing that you guys need to make sure that you have turned off is mouse acceleration. Mouse acceleration is really, really bad for any kind of muscle memory development. Uh, you, I mean, you literally cannot de de develop muscle memory with um, mouse acceleration on. Basically what mouse acceleration does is it'll take your, um, It'll, it'll take your, uh, what's the, what's the word, your mouse, and it'll move you faster. So say I go from the far left of my desk to the far right of my desk over here, right, at a slow speed. If I did it fast with mouse acceleration on, it, I would actually would have spun farther. Basically, the, the faster you spin your mouse, the, uh, the farther you'd go. So it also accounts for speed and how fast you're accelerating when moving your mouse. And the problem with that is, if you're trying to develop muscle memory, that's not consistent. 
right? You need consistency in a game, in a games like Overwatch and especially Minecraft as well for tracking and stuff. It still is important, okay? Um, it, you can't develop muscle memory and, and your movements won't be precise. The speed at which it happens should not matter, but they give people the option to do that as well. So go into your Razer sign up settings. You have Razer mouse, or if you have like a Logitech mouse like me, go into your Logitech gaming software. Whatever kind of mouse you have, just Google how to turn off mouse acceleration and make sure you turn that off, guys. I cannot emphasize that enough. Like, if you have mouse acceleration on, you are basically making it way harder on yourself to gain muscle memory and just be, you're making it way harder for on yourself to improve as a player in any game, in, in literally any game. Mouse acceleration is not something that you want on. Um, I made the mistake of turning it on in season two of Overwatch, and it really messed with my hit scan. And then I turned it off, and my hit scan got way better. So make sure you have turned off mouse acceleration, and make sure you play on a low er sense that doesn't compromise movement for turn turn ability. So you can still turn quickly, but it's still not that hard for you to track. It makes you'll see a big improvement in your game. So I hope this video helped. I know it's on the shorter side. I, I am on Mango MC today, so if you guys want to check them out, everything that they uh, of their stuff will be down in the description. Description. So the IP, the store, the website, all that. Um, I hope to see some of you guys on here, and I hope to see some of your all sensitivities in the chat. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, peace out.